Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Barely Yu-Gi-Oh here. Who do we have? Barely Yu-Gi-Oh. Austin Bear. All right, what did you play today, and what did you place? Oh, we played the 2-2 trains. Um, it was 1,907 people, I believe, in the event, and I got 60 sweet. second place. So sweet, sweet. almost would have been top 64, but we were 100 and something people shy of that place. We what? So well, we had like 1,900? Yeah. Yeah, 1,900 and About 1,900 and change? Yeah, absolutely. So almost made it, but I've never made day two in an event before. Uh, never. I showed up this morning. Won my last two matches, and so pushed forward, and like I said, got to 60 second place, so technically top cut in a sense, but not actually. But uh, I still wanted to do a deck profile, because this is awesome. I mean, Trains is my, my absolute jam, my favorite deck. I play it all the time, but it's just really special for me to actually have been to an event made it this far, and I think I'm, I know for a fact I'm the only person that made day two with Earth Machines or like even pushed it this far in the entire event, so. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, man, absolutely. Let's, play, let's spend no more time. Let's get into this profile and explain what we got. So, I think it's a 42 uh, card main, uh, the best card in the whole deck, uh, Ancient Gearbox, it's your one of that you don't ever want to see. Uh, Machina Gearframe, uh, it's your main play starter. Uh, I'll say for being the Stratos of the deck, I did a phenomenal job of opening this up all weekend, so I'm very happy that it was glued to my hand. Uh, with that, you do play the one Uncle Whoa, Spar. what is that thing? So this is what makes the whole deck go. You normal summon this. It adds this from deck to hand, and this automatically special summons itself, and then you can Foolish Burial any Machina monster uh, to your graveyard. So it, you typically send Fortress with that. Uh, it's dead, typically, if you draw it, but not always, because it can start some of your plays, but for more or less, you play the one up just to search off this. Well, that's sweet, man. That's sweet. Uh, still with the Machinas, uh, we do play the one Fortress. Uh, old school card, not once per turn, keeps them coming back. Uh, one of the main engine or combo pieces. Uh, you do play the one Citadel with him. This card is absolutely fucking insane. Uh, the the level 10 that you just can't get rid of, right? Play Geki on your opponent's turn. Um, I had one of my opponents in my feature match in the VIP section. A uh, quick, quick or like thing about this. He milled four from each of our graveyard, or tops of our decks, and then he milled this on me. And this is on the Konami website, so it's fun because you can go back and rewatch all of this. He took this and made an insane board Long story short, I kaijued his uh, toad, prompted him to add back. I talented my own citadel back, attacked over his dragus to Pelia, and then wiped his entire board with only using like my own citadel and a talent and a kaiju. And so it, this card is just, I mean, great memories associated with this card after this weekend. But yeah, absolutely. Sick, broken. sick, sick, sick. Uh, and then one rune force, uh, just a 4600 level 10 machine that you can bring back from graveyard. Obviously, this card's cracked under Skill Drain. This entire deck is Skill Drain Turbo. It's not even Earth Machine. I'm calling it Skill Drain Turbo from now on because that's how I play it. Um, this is the Machina lineup, though. Uh, if you wanted to up more ratios, if you wanted to play more towards like a 50 to 60 card variant, you could. But no, I mean, I, this is how I played it. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Is that all for the Earth Machines in the main? Uh, no, hell no. <laughs> We've got so many more Earth Machines. Uh, to the Tractors, we're playing Three Harvester. Uh, still one of the rotas, easily sided out uh, whenever you need to go down on ratios. Two trencher, one brutal dozer, and the one tunneler. Um, ratios work pretty well. Uh, I think I've sided out harvester just to kind of cut back a couple times. Uh, brutal dozer works phenomenally. I definitely liked having two trenchers. Tunneler is absolutely cracked, being able to pot of avarice. Um, it's so nice. I mean, this deck has so many lines of play that you can typically work around. It, it is a very fun, like, very. Uh, two Regulus. Card's amazing. You can search it with River Stormer. Uh, Omni Negate. Two awesome monsters to be able to bring back. Uh, gear Frame, whenever you're attaching it from Graveyard, you can use Gear Frame's effect to unattach it because it's a Union monster to get a free body on board. So Gear Frame special summons itself. And then you can just keep cycling your bullet as well to keep getting uh, your monsters back during the end phase. So trains, uh, one Derek Crane, one bullet. Uh, it's insane for me to go from playing like three and three of these all the time in my train decks to cutting them down to one, but they're there when you need them. Uh, phenomenal cards. I got really lucky with not running into Dimension Shifter at all this weekend to be completely fair, uh, but I'll count my blessings. Uh, one uh, Jizakiro. I love this in the main. I saw it when I needed to. Uh, you can search it with urgent schedule as well. So even if you draw your urgent schedule and it's dead, uh, it uh, going first, like if you set up and you have to set it, keep it in your hand. But if your anger knuckles in grave, you can set it uh, 
send your anger knuckle, or I'm sorry, send it with your anger knuckle and then search Jujutsu Kiro. So it, I don't know, like the fact that it has as much synergy as it does, I love it. Uh, last for the monsters, three Ash Blossom. Uh, that rounds it off with that, pretty straightforward. Let's, uh, let it pick this. I don't know what the monster count is. I don't think I would change anything ratio-wise. Um, if there's a way you could not play the box, that would be sick, but it does unfortunately set off some of your combos. Therion, I mean, if you wanted to bump it to three, I mean, it's typically pretty broken when you do see it in your opening hand because it does allow you to push pretty hard with the Omni Negate. But other than that, I mean, I, I was very happy with how the monsters ran. Uh, spells, uh, three heavy forward. Main Searcher, I definitely, or I shouldn't say main, redeployment's your main, but uh, definitely an awesome card. Being able to attach for the extra material on your Dora uh, is nice as well. Uh, leads to heavier Zeus plays. So uh, you could cut this down to two or one if you really needed to. If I sighted, a lot of times I'd leave the one in, but definitely for consistency, if you win the dice roll, absolutely. Good follow up for whenever your Harvester gets ashed. Uh, three, redeployment. This is like your game winning card. If you open this and resolve it and it does not get ashed, your board's gonna be tight. So simple as that, I would not cut it for anything. Three urgent schedule, you do not always win the dice roll. I won two dice rolls, I believe the entire event, and one was in my last match, so that was a good one to win. And that was my only 2-0 I had of the entire day. But uh, yeah, uh, two or, or sorry, three urgent, you can side it out if you know that you're going first, but in terms of, like it's a one card engine, you can send or summon Trencher, and Harvester and link them off and then start your plays there. Uh, I did have a Labyrinth player while I was going first. He popped my gear frame on, or I'm sorry, not gear frame, my Machina, Jesus, Gear Geek at X, he popped it and that was the only monster I had. And it, he summoned his own monster. And so turn, my first turn, I was able to resolve urgent schedule and keep comboing through, which that never happens. So that was pretty sweet. Uh, through, oops. Two triple tactics talents. Uh, I have thrust. I just not. I didn't play them in this build. I just liked having the talents. This came up a couple of times, and whenever it did, it was pretty broken. So all I can say is the talents worked pretty well. I don't know if I would necessarily swap them out for anything. Um, you could play one thrust and one talents, but again, I, that's just the ratio I played. Uh, one duster. Uh, I don't know if this is like mandatory. I, no, first off, it's not mandatory in the main by any means. It's nice to have it as a one of blowout, but for what it's worth, it just did what it did. And then one called by the grave. This card was fucking MVP. I hit a DD Crow, an Ash, and a Droll and Lockbird. Day two's on a win. Thank you, Sal. Um, but I hit multiple uh, things with it. Every time it came in to play, it was a game winning card. So called by the grave was absolutely correct. Uh, traps, MV fucking P. Uh, I would, <laughs> this is my favorite trap card in the whole game. I know it's super degenerate, but this deck absolutely gets carried by it. I've won, uh, the, I'm gonna say realistically maybe five of my matches because of skill drain. It was pretty wild. Uh, fun card. Going first, going second, it shits on curly. It, I don't know, it just, material elements was able to play around it very well, but everything else just, I mean, nothing really inherently plays into it too well. Uh, two Imperm and the one Overdrive, uh, just for your mini pot of Avarice. Uh, Imperms were super nice as well. I don't really think I changed the trap lineup too much. You could maybe try and squeak in a third Imperm, but I mean, you might have a little bit of room of variability if you wanted to try and fit in more hand traps with stuff like that, but I do like playing the one Feather Duster just so I have some back row removal, but that's just me. 42 card name. All right. We on to side deck? Uh, extra side, whichever one they grab. Let's go, let's go side. All righty. Three Droll. Three Nib. Three Dark. Three Cosmic. And three Evenly. Uh, Self-explanatory. I was going to say, these two are pretty cracked. I love this for, I mean, Runic. I fortunately did not see a single Runic matchup, but I feel like this is just too good still. I love Cosmic. Uh, Droll, broken, nib, no explanation. I, this, there's nothing spicy in here. It's just... All standardized. <laughs> I get you. If it's not broken, you don't got to fix it. All right. And then the extra? And the extra. Uh, three Goliath. It is your only link one, but this allows you to... Mandatory. Yeah, unfortunately. Uh, I've seen some people play like two, um, but I still like the three. I think it's... I just haven't changed it. Uh, one Ballista. It's how you search your shitty box, but it's... Uh, 
I did use its effect actually in my last match against Infernobles to make his uh, SP Little Knight's attack zero, and he ended up having to use its effect. Uh, one Anger Knuckle, uh, card is still cracked. It's like, <laughs> it's a really good card in trains. Uh, Platinum Gadget, you have to play it just to facilitate your main combo uh, to get Harvester out of your hand. Uh -huh. And then one Genius. Uh, I don't think I made, I might have made Genius once and it was just probably to do damage or something, but Ooh, it was in a niche. Is that spot. Anger Knuckle misprinted? Oh. Yeah. Yes, yeah, get that for the camera. Okay. Misprint. Oh, they're all misprint. They're all misprint. All right, all right, all right, all right. Flex, flex, flex. Flex, flex, flex. Uh, Gear Geek and X, just because you got to play one. Uh, since we're on the misprint train. Yeah. <laughs> River Swarmer and, uh, uh, Earth Slicer. Um, River Swarmer, obviously self-explanatory. at Foolish Burials or Rotas, any Earth Machine cards, fucking insane. This, I was debating between this and the Glathnir thing, or the level 9 wind thing, uh, like Skype, Blathnir, whatever the hell it's called. I went with this because it's an earth machine, so you never get locked into it turn one, um, whereas the other one you with Brutal Dozer, it locks into earth machine, so I went with this. That ended up winning me one of my games because I uh, he nibbed me, and I was able to, I had my Citadel in Graveyard, I was able to make this through nib, detach two materials, and I popped this and his Nibiru, and it was able to trigger my own Citadel on my first turn, bring it out, so I had Citadel live on turn one, which I've never done before, but that was because of this card. So that was like one of my super spicy plays I made over the weekend, but my call on this over the Blathier thing was insane. So just, you could play them both for what it's worth as well, but I just played that one over the other. Um, keeping all those out. <laughs> one yeah. Gustav, two Dora, one Lieb, and one Zeus, uh, train package. I never made the second Dorum. Uh, wait, could... wait, wait, no Typhon? No, fuck Typhon. I didn't even know that was a card in, like coming in this weekend, to be completely fair. Um, I like Zeus. <laughs> I know that the Typhon card's broken. I mean, if I, I guess you could make this a Typhon, but I didn't play one. I never, it just never came into play. Again, I didn't even know it was a card until I really got to this event. All right, anything you want to change about this deck at all? Um. I mean, again, you might be able to swap one of the trains out for something, but for the most part, it's pretty straightforward. There's a little bit of room for variability. Um, I'm very happy with how it ran, no pun intended. Uh, but no, trains are just my absolute bomb. I had a great time here at YCS Indy. Um, obviously, shout out to all my friends. All right, perfect, 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 boss. All right, say goodbye.